Hi everybody, I'm here today making this video because I have a very huge surprise. I got two new guinea pigs. So as you all know, several weeks ago, Mango passed away, and ever since then, Kiwi had been acting differently. She was eating and drinking fine and was healthy, but her personality had changed. She'd spend all her time in her igloo, and she was a lot more skittish. And I thought getting her another guinea pig friend would help her feel more comfortable and be a lot happier. I started looking on Pet Finder and found these two. The first thing that really caught my attention was the profile picture of them. It was super cute. All you could see of her face was her little hairdo. And they were just so adorable and I really wanted them even though I didn't even know about their personalities yet. Um, as I read the article, it said that they'd come from a rescue all the way up in Canada because there were so many small animals up there and they didn't have enough room for them so they were trying to get them into other homes or rescues that could take them. It also said that their names were Oksana and Oran. They were four years old so they are pretty old for guinea pigs and also that they are very cuddly and friendly and energetic. I really fell in love with them. I was really excited about them so I really wanted to get them. I was only supposed to get one guinea pig but um, I have a 2x5 CNC so I did have enough room for them and I really wanted them because they just seemed so special so I was allowed to get two guinea pigs. I emailed the rescue about them asking if I could adopt them and this is also the same rescue that I got Kiwi and my mice from. So they said that their adoption was pending so they had already been applied for I was disappointed about that because I was pretty excited about getting them. I then started setting up a time where I could bring Kiwi in to meet two different guinea pigs to see if she got along with them. And during the time it took to sort out the details about where, when we would meet and bring Kiwi in, um, the adoption for Oksana and Oran had fallen through so they were available again. And then I got very happy again and definitely wanted to adopt them. Last Wednesday I brought Kiwi over to the rescue to introduce her to the two guinea pigs so I just put her in in the little playpen area with them and they got along perfectly. There was no teeth chattering or even rumble strutting. Um, the rescue person said it was one of the easiest introductions ever and I was surprised at that because between Kiwi and Mango, Kiwi was the more dominant one so I wasn't even sure if she would get along with other guinea pigs that were older. They just got along perfectly so I was able to bring her, bring these two guinea pigs home that day and keep them in the same cage together after I'd cleaned it out, like super sanitized it. I was able to put them in the same cage. Once I put them all in the cage together there was just a little teeth chattering at first and then it all stopped and they just got along perfectly and it was really great. After just a few minutes they were already running around the cage and eating vegetables like They'd been living here for a lot longer than just a few minutes. Once I brought them home, I changed their names. So this one right here is now Xena. And this one is Pop, like popcorn, because guinea pigs popcorn. And they are actually really, really friendly. Xena like, doesn't like to be held too much because she's squirmy and would rather be running around. But you can just pet her all day long and she's really friendly like that. And she'll just let you pet her. So she's like very friendly and nice. And then this one like will come up to you but she doesn't like being pet. If if you scratch her head that's okay but if you start petting her back then she'll run away and she doesn't like it. So I really love them because they're so friendly and they're they're really cute. And they've really um, brought out the best in Kiwi because ever since having them she's been a lot more energetic and she's also become tamer because like, I guess seeing them be okay with me and coming up to me has made her more comfortable being around me. And I also took them out for floor time yesterday, and they really enjoyed that. Kiwi and Mango never liked floor time. They were just going igloos and hide, and they didn't want to run around. But they were running laps and stuff, and they even got Kiwi to come out and explore. So I think that these guinea pigs have been very good for Kiwi and I've also really enjoyed having them. And the funny thing about them is that before I used to just have one of these 16 ounce glass water bottles and that would last Kiwi and Mango two days if I didn't refill it. 
but then I brought these two home and I went to bed that was completely full and it was gone in the morning so then I started having two of these in the cage um, that, and then they would drink all of that overnight and then when I got back from school they would also have drank in two whole water bottles so I recently went to PetSmart and got a 64 ounce one and hopefully that one will last a little longer and it's not even that they drink that much water I've seen her drink and when she drinks about 10% of the water goes in her mouth and the rest of the water just comes gushing out so it's not like she's getting that much water into her when she drinks it's just spilling everywhere another thing I've noticed with them is that they're a lot more messier than kiwi kiwi would basically not make any mess she would go to the bathroom in her litter box and then she would also go to the bathroom where she slept most of the time but these two are crazy I have to clean the cage about every three days um, they go to the bathroom everywhere there's pee everywhere and then the spots where the water is gets all soggy because it goes everywhere everywhere except into their mouths and when they eat pellets they don't eat them they grind them up and it gets everywhere so they're messy little pigs but it's definitely worth it because they are very friendly and I love them so much and despite their age they're really active they're squeaking and jumping around and they're very happy little guinea pigs and they you can tell that they're older because like their eyes and they look older but they act like they're little baby guinea pigs so I'll stop rambling on about them now but those are my two new guinea pigs Pop and Xena it has been a while since I got them and it took me a while to get this video up so I'm sorry about that but here they are and that's all for this video. I'm really excited to have three guinea pigs, and you'll definitely be seeing a lot of them soon. So bye, everybody.